Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Earlham Station. I've got a pint. I'm sitting in the pub at Earlham Station. I've just made a video on here, so have a look. There's a separate video where I explore the whole of this really nice railway station with its signal box. It's also got a plimp steam loco, so to see that, watch the Earlham Station video. I thought while I'm here, it'd be a good time to do my miniature railway Britain update, as indeed I have got the shirt on, or the hoodie actually. Um, a bit cold for the shirt, I have got a shirt as well. It says Miniature Royal Britain, so I just want to do an update. So, I had a lot of fun going to various Miniature Railways, and I try and publish a video every Sunday. I think at the moment, because it's early in the year, there's not so many Miniature Railways open, it might just be every other Sunday for the time being. But as the year goes on, if I get to enough of Miniature Railways to publish a video every Sunday, I will. There will, of course, be other videos I make along the way. So, as I said, I'm having great fun. I've been to quite a few different ones. Well, at the time I'm speaking now, I've been to 16. One of them just up the road, up the line at um, Amsterdam, Amsterdam College. Yeah, so that was great. That's a great miniature railway. And if you ever go there, you could come here afterwards and have a pint. So I started off thinking I'd be visiting about 200. The list has gone up to about 340. Now, since I started it, there's been a few new miniature railways, which I'm really happy about. There's been a few I missed off the list and unfortunately one or two have, I don't even know if any have actually closed since I launched this project back at the end of August 2019, but I think they might have already closed and I wasn't aware. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, like I did when I published a list, show you, they're just gonna come up on screen, the new miniature railways. They're not necessarily new, but the ones I missed out the first time. So they're coming up now. And now, a um, bit sad, but I'm going to do the ones that um, I've become aware have closed and unfortunately are no longer going to be included in the series. They might, though, if it happens to be in the area, if there's any remnants, we might do a disused version. So they're coming up on screen now. So, other than that, it's, um, yeah, it's been great. I've um, really enjoyed it. I've been to you know, many different miniature railways. I'm going to be going to many more in the future. We're also going to be obviously doing other places like castles, churches, pubs that are railway stations, pubs that aren't a railway stations. We're going to do just basically Henry's Ventures. It's going to be as it's been. And um, I hope you keep watching. I hope you keep enjoying. Tell your friends. If you like some of the adventures I've had, then, you know, go and have them yourself and go and visit some of the places I visit. I'm sure everywhere I go and I've made these videos, the miniature railway ones, well, and other ones for that matter, people have, you know, been pleased to see I'm there making a video. So, you know, I'm sure they'd be delighted if um, you also go and visit them. So that was the um, New Year's Miniature Railway Britain update. I will publish these approximately coarsely but there's no real rule so yeah from Earlham station thank you very much for watching and cheers everyone please do feel free to like subscribe comment tell your friends about Henry's Adventures and about Earlham railway station thank you very much for watching goodbye